and, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. Almost everything inside Optimus is new. There's practically no existing supply chain. Elon Musk himself acknowledged that Tesla is making a bull bet on its Texas factory to kick off Optimus robot production despite some huge engineering hurdles. Other than its AI system, which it shares with Tesla's cars nearly every part, from the motors and gearboxes to the actuators, must be created from scratch. Pretty fascinating, right? If Texas ends up becoming the birthplace of a worldwide robotics revolution, what would that mean for the future of manufacturing and human labor? Before we jump in, please help us reach our goal of 9,500 subscribers. Every click is a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you new episodes about Tesla bots, Tesla heavies, and all the PIA. Latest updates. Have you ever wondered why Tesla can't just use existing supply chains like other companies? Let's dive into it. Tesla's choice to manufacture Optimus at its Giga Texas factory is incredibly ambitious. It's like creating an entire new supply chain from the ground up. Musk himself has made it clear that nearly everything in Optimus is completely new, except for its AI computer. That AI tech is adapted from Tesla's electric vehicle systems, but the rest? It's a blank slate. Does that sound like a challenge? Absolutely, and Tesla is leaning into it. That's a huge leap, especially since Tesla usually builds on existing automotive supply chains. But humanoid robots? That's a different story entirely. There just aren't suppliers making humanoid robot motors, actuators, or robotic skeletons at scale. Tesla is stepping into unknown territory, inventing the supply chain as they go. Would you take that kind of risk if you were in Tesla's shoes? Take the actuators as an example. Unlike a car wheel that simply spins, these robots need very flexible movements mimicking real muscles with strength, energy efficiency, and durability. Tesla needs new, tiny, power-packed actuators that can also be produced in large volumes. And because they're creating these new kinds of components, traditional suppliers can't help. That means Tesla's engineers have to design and manufacture them themselves. Pretty bold, right? And then there's the robot skeleton. Tesla can't just pick up existing frames off the shelf they need, lightweight, super strong materials like aluminum alloys or advanced polymers to keep weight down without losing rigidity. These materials require specialized forming and welding processes that Tesla is only just mastering. Tesla is famous for pushing boundaries in its car manufacturing. You probably remember the Giga Press, so it's no surprise they'd do the same here. Do you believe Tesla can set a new standard for robot manufacturing too? And the complexity doesn't stop there. Power electronics for humanoid robots? Another completely new design. Instead of a few big battery packs like a Tesla EV, Optimus needs a web of tiny, low-latency circuits to control dozens of moving parts and sensors. That level of complexity requires new kinds of printed circuit boards, controllers, and software all designed and built internally. Would you trust Tesla to make all this happen under one roof? And that's before we even talk about the AI and control software. Even though Optimus shares the Tesla full self-driving computer, the real magic is in orchestrating movement, balance, grasping, and seeing. Tesla's plan is for Optimus to become a multi-purpose humanoid assistant that can eventually fit into factories and people's homes. That's going to require years of testing and learning. Every motor action and software update will come from a cycle of feedback and fine-tuning very different from Tesla's existing automotive playbook. Does this sound like a challenge Tesla can overcome in the near future? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And Tesla is under serious time pressure too. Elon Musk has said they want to put thousands of these robots into Tesla factories before the end of next year. It's an incredibly compressed timeline. Getting there means sourcing special magnets for custom motors, setting up new production lines, and building entirely new teams, all while making sure every part works perfectly. Could you imagine trying to do all that at once? 
Even with Texas on their side, a central campus and engineering all under one roof, this is a big undertaking. Do you see this strategy working? And that Texas setup comes with its own hurdles. Even though being local means faster engineering loops and better quality control, Tesla also has to train new workers and set up logistics where there wasn't anything like this before. Do you think it's risky or the right move? Tell me your thoughts. That being said, Texas also offers some serious perks like federal manufacturing incentives and more control over Tesla's global supply chains. That might give Tesla an edge in avoiding the kinds of disruptions we saw during the recent pandemic. Tesla is clearly playing a long game, hoping to kickstart an entire new industry before anyone else can catch up. In short, Tesla isn't just making robots, they're making an entire robotic supply chain from scratch. It's a bold plan, and if they succeed, they'll have pioneered a huge new industry with global impact. Pretty inspiring, right? This is why Tesla is starting small. Tesla will put these robots to work inside their factories first. That's a safe testing ground where they can monitor every movement, balance test, and software tweak before launching into public spaces like homes and offices. Pretty smart, don't you think? And that staged rollout also lets Tesla limit risks. Every optimist that's built is closely supervised and measured learning as it goes before Tesla dares to scale up. Musk has said he expects a substantial number of robots working inside Tesla factories this year. Every one of them will help make future versions better. Do you believe this is the most practical way to scale humanoid robotics? Tell me what you think I'd love to read your comments. And scaling up is going to take even more effort. Tesla's target is to produce Optimus at rates that go well beyond a few trial units, and they plan to do it all at Giga Texas. Even though they're still fine-tuning hardware like actuators and hands, Tesla is already streamlining its assembly lines and investing in fully automated testing stations. That means more robots build faster everyone put through its paces to make sure it can do real work in factories or around your house one day. This is Tesla's way of proving that humanoid robots can fit into everyday life. Do you believe this is going to change the future of work and automation forever? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to see your thoughts and ideas. By localizing all this manufacturing in Texas, Tesla hopes to streamline innovation and quickly scale up as they perfect the design. No one else is working at this pace, and that might be Tesla's secret weapon as they race to establish leadership in the humanoid robot industry. But it's also one of Tesla's biggest risks. If they can't overcome these engineering and supply chain hurdles, the entire timeline could slip. On the other hand, if they succeed, they could redefine what automation looks like forever. And that's the big picture. Tesla is betting that its deep experience in vertical integration and AI will help it win. Do you believe Tesla will make Optimus the first successful mass-market humanoid robot? Or do you think they'll face too many obstacles along the way? Let me know what you believe will happen. Drop your thoughts in the comments and share your take on this. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Tesla's Optimus and want to see more, please help us hit our subscriber goal. It means a lot to us. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Danny Nova, and turn on notifications so you won't miss future episodes. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of this amazing journey with us. Until next time, take care and stay safe.